Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. Ancient Miami Downtown Miami doesn't seem like a place where you would expect to find an archaeological wonder, but it is. A gigantic structure was uncovered and experts can make sense of it. Many believe it could be an ancient relic left behind by the Maya civilization. Others think it might be nothing but the remains of a septic system. The site is called the Miami Circle and it was first identified in 1998. The plot of land was purchased by a developer who was going to build luxury condominiums. The discovery of the circle put a massive damper on the plan. The developer would have gone through with it if funds hadn't been raised to purchase the land from the developer and preserve the Miami Circle for future generations. But that didn't stop the area surrounding the circle from being paved and developed. What few artifacts were found nearby have been associated with the Tequesta Indians, but nobody knows who really built the structure. It's nothing but a circle with 24 large holes that could have been used for anything. They may have been post holes needed for holding up a ceiling. The weird part is that no ancient culture in Florida is known for building circular structures. This is a completely unique phenomenon. Any chance we have of solving the mystery is currently being buried under more development. A 2,000-year-old site was discovered and already developers are covering up the land with concrete and steel. Do you think the builder should hold off so we can find out what it is? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Number 9. Robots on the Moon In April 2023, a Japanese startup company tried to be the first private group to complete a mission to the moon. They sent the lunar lander Hakuto-R to the moon with hopes of landing successfully on the lunar surface. But on April 25th, their lander crashed. It lost communication with ground control during its descent and landed unceremoniously on the moon. The company known as iSpace said the landing was hard, more of an impact than a landing. The next day, on April 26th, NASA casually passed over the failed landing sites and took pictures of what is now a piece of garbage that will likely never leave the moon. NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter discovered the failed robot lying in the moon dust and took some photographs. Then they shared those photographs with the world. The only thing more embarrassing than failing your mission to the moon is having NASA photograph the humiliating evidence the next day. This was hardly the first impact site identified by NASA. They also discovered the remains of an Indian lander in 2019 called Chandrayaan-2 Vikram. They also identified the Israeli lander Bereshit shortly after it crashed on the moon. Number 8. Fossilized Eyes At a secret fossil hotspot in Wales, researchers came across the preserved eyes and brains of mysterious creatures from 462 million years ago. The secret fossil hotspot is called Castle Bank, not so much a secret anymore. It was the location where the exciting bramble snout fossils were discovered in 2022. But now, scientists have found a host of soft-bodied marine organisms preserved in the rock. They are so well-preserved that scientists can see their brains. The creatures preserved in the deposits here came from the Ordovician period. That was between 485 and 443 million years ago. Researchers think they've collected proof of at least 170 different species. Many of the species are entirely new. They also happen to be some of the weirdest creatures that ever evolved. Barnacles, shrimp, unidentified creatures with way too many legs, trilobites with their eyes preserved inside their heads, preserved worms and sponges, weird things called opabinids with noses that look like nozzles. Joseph Botting, one of the researchers who frequently visits Castle Bank, said every time he goes back, he finds something new. There is still a lot to learn from the site. Right now, scientists think it may have been a nursery for young marine animals. Many of the specimens they have found have come from juveniles. It may have been some sort of weird undersea community where the young grew up in the same rich environment. Have you ever found any fossils on the beach? Let me know in the comments! And now for number 7, but first, it's shout out time! I want to give a big thank you to William Doyoun and Nora Yukana for supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and let us know what other topics you'd like to see in the comments below. Number 7. Footprints in the Stone Scientists in South Africa have just discovered what could be the oldest tracks on record left behind by Homo sapiens. 
Human footprints from 153,000 years ago were found preserved in the Garden Root National Park. Researchers identified something they called a track site. There are multiple track sites across Africa, with the oldest being from 3.66 million years ago in Tanzania. These much older footprints were left behind by our hominin ancestors, much earlier versions of humans and far more primitive. But they still made the same walking trails as us, which were preserved in ash and mud. This newest track site was found on the southern tip of the African continent about 10 miles from the coast. It includes three distinct groups of impressions. One is of a human knee where someone knelt down for a moment, maybe to tie their leather shoe. There are four foot tracks, and then there are a handful of ammoglyphs, which is a fancy word for tracks that scientists can't quite identify. The footprints aren't telling scientists much right now. All they can see is that humans walked across this area a very long time ago. Seeing as Homo sapiens evolved in Africa 300,000 years ago, this discovery is a big deal. It shows footprints made halfway between human beings evolving from apes and reaching the stage we're at now. It's like a halfway mark in human history. There will likely never be an older human footprint discovered anywhere on the globe. Number 6. New Horizons it was almost 10 years ago now that NASA's New Horizons probe flew past Pluto at the edge of our cozy galactic corner of the universe on its way into deeper space. It was an important counter and a big win for science. It also gave humankind its first real look at Pluto. On July 14, 2015, the probe was 7,800 miles from the surface of the dwarf planet. It took a bunch of photographs and sent them back to scientists on Earth. It was eight years ago, but scientists are still sifting through the data. In March 2023, scientists revealed the three newest discoveries made thanks to the New Horizons trip. Researchers at the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference showed what they had learned about Pluto's surface. They found evidence of a subsurface ocean, something that might contain liquid water hiding beneath the ground. They also discovered methane ice deposits extending far across the planet. Some of these methane deposits are huge, standing tall as skyscrapers on our own planet. Then there is Arrokoth, what scientists have described as a partially flattened snowman. This bizarre object became the farthest thing ever explored by a spacecraft in 2019 when New Horizons passed by it. It's located 4 billion miles from Earth and appears to be nothing but a pile of 12 rocks. But the rocks are so far from the sun that they have become fused together and frozen. Now the rocks look like a snowman floating through the vast expanse of the Kuiper Belt near Pluto. Number 5. Aztec Sacrifice A shocking trove of sacrifice victims was recently discovered in Mexico. In the downtown core of Mexico City, archaeologists uncovered the remains of a ritual near the steps of an ancient holy temple. The temple is named Templo Mayor, one of the most sacred buildings in Aztec society before the arrival of the Spanish. Before the Spanish destroyed the temple, along with the rest of Tenochtitlan in 1521, Templo Mayor was a 15-story pyramid. It was massive, a sacred place where the Aztecs sacrificed human beings to gain the favor of the gods. The sacrificial offerings here would be considered horrific by today's standards. Archaeologists found a young boy dressed in the fine attire of the Aztec war god Huitzilopochtli. Along with the child was the corpse of a jaguar stuffed into a large stone box in the center of a circular platform. Archaeologists have yet to finish excavating but already have some exciting ideas. Lead archaeologist Leonardo Lopez Luján says as the team keeps digging, they'll continue to find more objects. The hope is that somewhere underneath the layers of time is the tomb of an Aztec emperor. The sacrificial offerings of the child, the jaguar, along with some birds, may have been to seal the tomb of an emperor that scientists don't even know about yet. Number 4. The New Mammals Scientists in Australia have just discovered two new mammals. An additional pair of greater glider marsupials have just been added to the list of Australia's weirdest creatures. These things are about the size of a cat and live in the deep forests of Australia. They can be seen hiding in the branches on tall trees. 
Researchers have always known the adorable creatures existed, but they had never realized how diverse they are. Scientists finally conducted DNA tests on tissue samples from the gliders to understand more about their genetic makeup. That was when researchers realized they were dealing with completely different species. Kara Youngentob said it was exciting to discover such biodiversity right under her own nose. The fact that so many glider species exist and are only identifiable by their DNA is a good thing. It means there is less concern for the conservation of gliders in Australia. They aren't as close to extinction as previously thought. Nocturnal gliders live in tree hollows and roam around at night eating eucalyptus leaves. They are some of the best gliders in the world, able to soar 328 feet on their fluffy wings. Have you ever seen an adorable glider in real life? Let me know in the comments and hit subscribe while you're at it. Number 3. The Great Pompeii Project Even in 2023, discoveries are still being made at the magnificent archaeological site of Pompeii in Italy. As you may know already, Mount Vesuvius exploded in the year 79 AD. Burning rock and volcanic ash buried the city of Pompeii and those who weren't crushed by hot stones were suffocated by superheated gas. For 2,000 years, the city has remained preserved. Pompeii was never really lost. It's always been at the foot of the mountain, though it was largely ignored until the 20th century when scientists began to take an interest in archaeology. Now, the whole place has been picked apart and scrutinized. Much of this is thanks to the Great Pompeii Project, which continues to improve the archaeological park. They have repaired damage from neglect and mismanagement, and the organization also continues to make new studies and find new stuff. Most recently, the group finished restoring erotic artwork at the House of the Veti. This was once the home of a lavish aristocrat who lived in Pompeii. Before it was destroyed, it was filled with frescoes of Hercules, Cupid, and the fertility god Priapus. The home is also filled with other, more sensitive pieces of adult artwork. Researchers also recently opened what they think may have been a brothel. They completely refurbished the House of the Lovers. You can now travel up to the second floor and read the sultry inscription found scrawled on the entrance. It says, when translated into English, lovers like bees pass a sweet life like honey. This would have been the inscription read by men as they pass through the threshold and into their private room at the brothel. Number 2. Ancient Iranian Rice Farmers 3,000 years ago in the Mazandaran region of Iran, early farmers figured out how to cultivate rice. The ancient region stretches along the border of the Caspian Sea in the north of Iran. Archaeologists from Peking University studied evidence found during excavations at the archaeological site of Kalakesh. They found evidence of rice grain going back to the Achaemenid period. That was at the beginning of the true Persian Empire, in the years when Cyrus the Great and his descendants would create the biggest armies the world had ever seen. Rice was hardly the only thing grown by ancient farmers living in Iran. Long before the mighty civilizations of Mesopotamia rose from the dust, Stone Age farming communities thrived in Iran. While troglodytes were living underground in caves throughout many parts of the world, people near the Zagros Mountains lived in prosperous farming communities. The communities first appeared about 12,000 years ago. The residents farmed things like barley, peas, and lentils. But now, thanks to this newest discovery in Kalakesh, scientists know rice didn't reach the region until about 1000 BC. Maybe it was all the good food that made the Mazandaran region home to some of the best warriors in the armies of Persia. Ancient inscriptions say the Tabari people lived here. They were supposedly the most skilled swordsmen, archers, and slingers in the Near East. Persian emperors sought these warriors to fight alongside them in all the major battles. Number 1. A Strange Artifact in Canada In New Brunswick, near the eastern coast of Canada, there isn't much going on in the way of archaeological research. But something exciting was found in 1998. A tiny artifact carved from the mandible of a white-tailed deer was found in the small community of Cape and Rage. The artifact was carved in the likeness of a human face. A University of New Brunswick anthropological student made the find and brought the artifact to Dr. David Black. It took Dr. David Black until 2008 to complete his research on the artifact. 
He believes it to be 500 years old and completely unique. He's never seen anything else like it. David says the artifact was most likely carved by someone from the indigenous community. David thought his research was done over a decade ago. But it was recently that history enthusiast Alison Elias heard about the artifact and began her own investigation. It was an investigation that didn't get very far. Alison tried to uncover more information about the mystery object but came up short. Nobody has any idea what the thing was used for or why it has a human face on it. The issue with archaeology in New Brunswick is that coastal erosion has destroyed a massive amount of the coastline. Discovering anything older than 1,000 years is nearly impossible without digging underwater. Thanks for watching! What other secrets do you think we could uncover in Pompeii? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!